Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. What's up guys, Christian here back at you for a sneaker talk with a brand new vlog and today as you can tell we are not in Toronto, we are still inside of Boston. What's up America? So today we're going to do some sneaker shopping. I'm actually right by Harvard University I think which is really really cool but we're in this little shopping plaza area and they have a sneaker store here that is very very well known it's called concepts so we're gonna check out concepts I've only heard good things about them because of T Blake so shout out to T Blake but yeah we're gonna go to concepts and we're also going to go to a secret sneaker store like this sneaker store is so cool I've never been to it in my entire life but I can't wait to show it to you guys so make sure you stick around the vlog because man it's gonna be pretty dope with that said let's get going to concepts So we're here at the Jordan and Nike section of the store. You guys can see these are the retros they have. We've got some ones, some sevens, some swooshlish Air Jordan one lows with like this snake python kind of kind of look to it. These are actually pretty sick. Here's some of the ones they got. They have the uh, Baron 11 lows, of course. They have some of the special Jewel Cortez. As you guys know, it is the special 45th anniversary of the Cortez. So we got the black and white. The white and red and of course the classic Forrest Gump kind of colorway. They also have some of these cool like jewel um, Air Force Ones. I've never seen these ones in person yet but this pair right here the mids. Check out these mids yo. The quality on these is just insane. Here's a look at the Adidas. What are these? I've not seen these before. These are some uh, what are these? I have the Chinese New Year version of these at home. I think it's 9316s or EQT support boost. Yeah, 9316 advance. These are cool. Is this a special concepts collaboration? No, it's a consortium release though. That's pretty neat. It's like a tan kind of color. They also have this like black with a weird kind of texture to it stitched into the leather. Pretty neat. So here's a look at some of the Adidas they have. They have my, you guys know this model, I love this model. The Nike Runner in this like neon yellow green colorway. I have these ones already. Not seen these ones in person. And then these Boost though, these Boost. Ooh. What else we got? We got some, I think these are Visvums I believe. Yes, Visvums. And then some Y3s. Here's a look at the woman's selection they have. Pretty solid offering. I've not seen these before. These must be like the special pride themed Vapor Maxes right here. You already know they have to have these special colorways of the Cortez. This is like some weird white fluffy material. I don't know what to call it. And then a black one. guys they got the sf af1 mids and that black tiger camo these are insane you guys saw me strike out on these on the website tempted i'm very tempted to pick these up now if you want to get on your drake vibe lots of stone island here got some play come de garçon these are the new nike acg boots and uh the other colorways are way way tougher than this one but still a pretty solid offering they got some alexander wang and adidas collab right here this shirt is so sick, but I doubt they have my size. And then we got some more goodies. This all over bomber jacket. Pretty dope, pretty dope. And then bam, Bape. They have Bape. They are like an authorized seller of Bape, which is really cool. Got some tanks. Can't go wrong with the shark hoodie right here. This is in a camo colorway. These just dropped with the patches on the side. So I've wanted a Bape jacket for a while and I remember seeing these online on the Bape Japan site and the US site but they sold out pretty quickly. You can finally try them on in store. I think T Blake has this one. Um, but yeah, let's see these jackets. Yo, this 
This jacket is so sick. <laughs> you got this loud ass tiger uh, on the sleeve right here. You got some of the WGM patches on the right sleeve here. And then you ready for it? You ready for it? The very back is probably the coolest part. You got the shark face right there. Uh, with the retail price though, retail price. Try and guess the retail price. The retail price is 575 US dollars. That's brutal, ouch. I'm gonna try on these two jackets, and oh, by the way, they got some of the Bapestas right here. The blue camo, got the all black. I'd rather just buy some, you know, Air Force ones if it's gonna be the all black ones. But then, the camo, they got the red camo Bapestas. These are tough. And then, last but not least, they got a Bape backpack. Now, I just bought a backpack, so I don't really know if I wanna get another one. But if I were to get one, and it were to be this one, I wouldn't be too upset. But I feel like with this on, I'd just be asking to get like robbed if I ever walked into downtown streets of Toronto at nighttime. This jacket wasn't my favorite at first, but yo, after trying this one on, I love this one. I feel like I like it more than the one with the shark face on the back. It's just so sick. It doesn't scream loud, loud babe either. It's like a really, really subtle brown on brown camo. The quality of it is awesome. It's super soft and whew, it's just the price though. That price though. And then this is the very last babe jacket of the three I'm gonna try on right now. And this one's insane. Look how tough this is. It's like super duper camo, but it's like, it just works. It just works really, really well. Bro, my wallet is not ready for this. So it turns out this camo jacket is also reversible to this orange one. And then it has some babe hits right there. Really, really loud. If you're trying to make a bold statement, this you can't get any more bolder. They also have a couple colorways of this model right here, the Carhu Fusion 2.0. Eddie Wynn got a pair of these, and uh, people were calling him a hype beast because Kanye West got them on his feet first, but this is pretty clean. It really reminds me of New Balance and like Saucony. And to think this was the brand that actually owned the trademark for the three stripes, but then Adidas bought it from them. So that's gonna wrap up our time at Concepts. Thank you guys at the Concepts store for having me. Um, they also let me know about a consignment store that's in Boston as well. So we're gonna go there too in today's vlog, I think, or it might be a separate video. We'll figure it out, but we're gonna do a little bit more shopping. I spotted Dunkin' Donuts over there. Shout out for y'all Raven. I have a winter jacket from them. But yeah, Dunkin' Donuts right here. We don't have Dunkin' Donuts in Canada, so I'm gonna have a iced coffee, I think. My first iced coffee ever from Dunkin' Donuts. Hey, uh, can I get a small frozen... Frozen uh, coffee. Dunk yeah, give that a shot. Thank you very much. Ooh. Holy crap, guys, it is so hot. The second you step outside of the Dunkin' Donuts, it just hits you. This heat is insane. It's like 35 degrees Celsius. What is that, like 95, 100 degrees Fahrenheit? Like, I am melting. I had to take off my jacket. Man, I should be wearing shorts. I should not be wearing black jeans right now. I am I am being a foolish man right now. Let's give this a shot. Our very first sip of Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, this is so sugary. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, for the mind you made me. I know you found it for the sea. Thank you, Lord, for the mind you made me. I know you found it for the sea. I should totally buy a Harvard University t-shirt and be like Justin Stone and pretend I went to Harvard. <laughs> it's really tempting. Starting at $10. Honestly, I just might. So I am very excited about this. They have an Urban Outfitters here. Yo, check it out. They have the real Ray Ray 20 hoodies here. Yo, I should buy one of these for Ray Ray. Honestly, I think he'd love this. No way, they have these mini Pac-Man machine video game things. Yo, this is sick. And yo, they got a cassette player thing that can convert to MP3s, what? We got the uh, Calabasas right here, as you guys can see. These pants are insane, yo. I have not seen these anywhere before. We have, like, these are, these are so cool, oh my gosh. I really think I should try a pair on. It's pretty cool to see how Fila is making a big comeback over these last couple of years. Even got these cool jerseys. Fila just reminds me of my childhood. Like everyone was wearing Fila when I was a kid. This, this might be the greatest hat ever. Bro, they have Space Jam slippers. Space Jam slippers? 
What? I can't believe they have these. They have a really good selection of guest shirts. Like they got these peachy ones, the white ones. They got this unofficial Bape Adidas collaboration, the camouflage Adidas shirts. These are tough. Urban Outfitters, they always have a really good selection of t-shirts. So let's check out the basement sale they have going on here. Sandal things, some footwear. They have NMDs, R2, NMD R2s, okay, okay. These aren't on sale though. They're full retail price at 170. Yo, have you seen the black and white pair of R2s with like the prime knit sock upper? Those are so sick. Those are way better than these. And of course, you gotta recognize Chuck Taylor's perfect for the summer. So I think this is where the basement sale is actually. Makes sense, the basements. What do they got here? They don't have too much really cool stuff here, but they got this Celtics jacket, starter jacket. They have this really, really sick denim jacket with that, like the fur bomber kind of thing. It's a Levi's too, $40 US on sale. Usually 128 US. This is perfect, but it's not in season right now. It's dope guest jeans, uh, dad hats, and it's on sale for 25 bucks, usually 35. And fun fact, they actually released this hat, but in a black colorway, and it was part of the ASAP Rocky line when they first dropped. And the tan ones are sitting, but the black ones sold out. I even resold those two at one point. Here at the shoe section now, and check it out. They have turtle doves. Urban Outfitters has turtle doves. Let's see what we got in here. These are, uh, these are, these, these are straight up garbage. I know why they're on sale. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up our time here at Urban Outfitters and this Harvard University shopping area. We're gonna get going back to where I was earlier and check out that secret sneaker store and the consignment shop. And perfect, my driver's here. It is hot. Yeah, this one. No. All good to go back. We're next. I'll bodega. I'll have to search it up. So we just arrived at Bodega, and for those of you guys who don't know what Bodega is, it's actually a secret sneaker store. It looks like a convenience store on the outside, but on the inside, you actually have a sneaker store. So this is the world's most secret sneaker store. Look at this, yo, they're clearly not selling anything because these Campbell chicken noodle soups, they look mad old. This display is just like aging, and it's really sick. But we got some Spam, cans of Spam. Got some old bouncy basic. All right, let's let's uh, let's go check out the store and hopefully I'm allowed to film inside. Really cool vibe in here and just such such a cool storefront. I'm like blown away. So I'm gonna do some shopping. I'm gonna look around the store, see if there's anything I wanna buy.
crazy about is Cav Amped. It's this Japanese streetwear brand and all their stuff is crazy, crazy expensive, but it's very unique and original stuff. They have a lot of cut and sew stuff and they have a ton of Cav Amped here. I'm trying on a hoodie right now. Really, really dope piece. Here's how it looks on body. Got gold white AK zippers. Oversized fit, Cav Amped branding on the side. And then on the inside of the hoodie, they have this cool Kevin house which is on the inside of a lot of the pieces and they're all made in Japan. Quality on this is bananas. So I'm stuck either between choosing this piece right here because I have some extra spending money right now because I got a gift card or this piece right here. This like super light purple and pink and you got the uh, this cat vamp like stitched in embroidered these pieces are insane man so and they're expensive how much does this cost 277 and so i have a gift card for 200 dollars so this would just end up costing me like 77 us that's insane man that's insane i could buy shoes they have a lot of shoes but i have so many shoes as it is i think i want to splurge on some cavam today they also have this really dope white crew neck with this graphic on it it's $200, so I wouldn't even have to spend an extra penny. I didn't see these earlier, but they got the NMD XR ones. They got the tan R ones right here. And check this out, I've never seen this colorway. NMD XR ones and just like the black and white glitch colorway. Pretty crazy looking. So I feel like I'm gonna go with this sweater right here. Super crazy. Damn, yo. But four bills, it's four bills, but I'm not paying the full amount, so it's not that bad. I didn't show you guys, but the very back is also cut and sew with this like dark blue indigo. So you got three cut and sew colors, made in Japan. This here, the quality is insane. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to justify the purchase more and more, but it, it might go down, it might go down. All right, so that's gonna wrap up our time here at Bodega. Coolest sneaker store ever, man, coolest store. And it wasn't just a sneaker store, they had a lot of dope streetwear brands too, a lot of Japanese streetwear brands on top of that, so really dope store if you're into streetwear and sneakers. But next up, I'm gonna be going to a consignment store. But yeah, I'm gonna cut off the vlog right here, that's gonna be it for today's vlog. I'm gonna separate today into two different parts, so if you wanna see the second part, I'll leave it linked down below whenever it's up. But we're gonna go to a consignment store next, so that'll be fun. And uh, I might pick up a Cav Amped piece from, from Bodega, but we'll see, because it was really expensive, and I want to see if the consignment store has any sneakers I'm hunting for for a pretty, you know, decent price. But yeah, thank you again, Converse. Thank you so much, Converse, for having me in Boston. If you guys haven't yet checked out Converse.ca and you're from Canada, check out the Converse website. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's vlog. Please smash that thumbs up button down below. Hit that red subscribe button if you're new, or check out another video, and then maybe subscribe. My arm is getting mad tired from holding this camera because it's so heavy. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Everything's so faded in the window, right, you know? Yeah. Right? It's just because it's all props. Right. So. Got it. Yeah. That's insane. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> all right, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Take it easy. You too.